Commander, may I come in? We require food and other necessities for the outpost. Our current inventory is likely to run out within the next two days. I recommend we restock our inventory in advance. Is there a store you typically use? If so, release the funds to me, and I can go there on your behalf. What? Ah, I see. If you're worried about me pocketing some of the funds, I can give you the receipt. Then, what is it? Uh... Excuse me? But... What about all the successful operations you've pulled off? Perhaps there is an error in the central government's computing system. If that's the case, you can go and personally submit your operation report certificate. I know it's a hassle, but I'll come with you. Yes, what you receive once you submit the operation report. Huh? Commander, please do not take offense in me asking this, but have you ever submitted an operation report? <sighs> Every commander is required to submit an operation report after each operation. That's what they use to evaluate performance and issue payment. Didn't they teach you about reports at the military academy? Is that so? All right then, let's get started on the operation reports. Actually, I'll write them. You just tell me if I have all the details right. I may ask you a few questions while I write them. The form is fairly convoluted, and there are a lot of them. If this is your first time, it may take a while. And time is something we don't have a lot of. We need to hurry and get this done. Please do. I'll take it from here then. I have a lot of experience in this area. Well, not entirely correct. This was one of the orders given to me by previous commanders. It is the job of the commander to give orders to Nikes. The previous commanders ordered me to fill out the paperwork. I followed the order. Thus, I do not feel either side was neglecting their duties. Yes, orders are the link between a commander and a Nikkei. Nikkeis follow human orders. It is our nature to do so. In particular, orders issued by a commander are to be obeyed without question regardless of what that order may be. That's right. That is of no importance. Once an order is issued, all that matters is that it is followed through. But there is one other thing. The act of keeping the commander safe is as important as following the order. A commander cannot be put in harm's way, no matter what. This is also of paramount importance. As a precaution, Nikes have emergency response items, such as AED and hemostatic agents built inside us. The safety of the commander is our top priority. If a commander is injured or dies due to an oversight on a Nikkei's part, that Nikkei will be punished accordingly. 
The only exception is when a commander chooses to take their own life. Yes, the central government ruled that they died of their own volition. Thankfully, Anis and I were able to avoid any punishment. I have spoken too much. Anyway, to summarize. Follow the commander's orders. Keep the commander safe. These are Anike's duties. Of course, it would be unreasonable for us to do absolutely nothing that we are not specifically ordered to do. Thus, we are also capable of exercising our own judgment in our daily lives. However, if an order does come, it supersedes everything else and must be followed. This is our primary function. So, do not feel you are being unreasonable by asking us to do something. The reports are finished. Please confirm. The success of any operation depends on the commander. Their leadership, their virtue. Reports must be written in this way, or else they will not be accepted. Now that the forms are complete, let's go submit them. We must go to the ARC Central Government's office. The central government's office is right up ahead. That's where you can submit the completed forms. Anike cannot enter the central government offices except under very special circumstances. Uh, because there is a high chance we will see a negative side of the commander inside. I will wait. Go in. Hey, what is this? This amount doesn't make sense. I just came back from the surface. Do you realize how many close calls I've had up there? The salary you have been given is accurate. This is insane. I risk my neck and all I get is chump change? This is a designated payment for all basic transportations. Basic transport my foot. I lost two Nikes, and I- Commander? Whether an incident does or does not occur during an operation is entirely dependent on your own capabilities as a commander. Please understand that there is nothing more we can do for you in this situation. That's easy for you to say. Sitting there safe and sound behind your nice desk. You've never been up to the surface. I- Next. What can I help you with? Hey! Are you ignoring me? Do I have to call security? <sighs> Next. What can I help you with? Very well. Hand them to me, please. Nice to meet you, Commander. It's an honor to finally meet the person behind all the rumors. The veracity of your op reports have been confirmed. 
Would you like your salary deposited directly to your bank book? Or would you like a voucher? It helps determine the availability of certain transactional options. I can see that you're not familiar with this process. So I've deposited the funds directly into your bank book. The deposit has been completed. Could you please confirm? Yes. In light of the difficult nature of the operations, the amount has been raised accordingly. Please continue your efforts on behalf of humanity. Commander, is it all taken care of? Then, let's go purchase the necessities we require. Yes? Uh, yes, they do. Most of us are led to believe that commanders are elite figures who have undergone a proper education in the military academy, and that they are heroes who work with Mikes to recapture the surface. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. Their so-called proper education doesn't even last a year. It's not nearly enough time to learn all there is to know about the Ark, Nikes, and Raptures. Instead, during their time at the military academy, commanders are essentially brainwashed. They're told they are the ones who will save humanity and Nikkeis are merely tools meant to serve commanders and mankind itself. This is the narrative they drill into their minds. I'm sure you yourself have noticed it. As a result, the mortality rate amongst commanders is staggering. They are thrown into operations without proper preparation. This, along with their lack of empathy for the Nikkeis under their command, often leads to disaster. And, most crucially, commanders do not receive pay if they fail to complete an operation. There is no concept of hourly, weekly, monthly, or annual salaries. You are paid upon successful completion of an operation, or not at all. The salary also depends on the difficulty of the operation. You risk your life going up to the surface, where you carry out operations and get paid based on your performance. In a way, it's just like being a mercenary. And that's where we start seeing some internal conflict. Those who go through the military academy are led to believe they are above the rest of society. They are full of confidence, and have no doubt that they are the ones who will save humanity. But soon after, they are faced with reality. Once they realize they've been risking their lives for pennies, they take out their frustrations on the staff. It's a rude awakening. Some commanders find themselves unable to cope, and resort to extreme measures. However, very few people in the Ark even know about this. That's because the Ark continues to venerate the commanders. As a result, the competition for entry into the military academy remains fierce. It's one method of receiving payment after successfully completing an operation. You can carry it around and exchange it for cash when needed. Commanders are members of the elite. Many unscrupulous people set their sights on commanders who are fresh graduates from the military academy. They are extremely susceptible to getting hacked. Currency within the Ark is also digitalized, and it's not too difficult to hack the system. Therefore, 
Vouchers are a way of making sure that you don't lose a lot of money at once. Well, there are some minimal safety procedures to prevent anyone other than the commander from cashing them in. But overall, they are indeed not entirely safe. Hmm. However, Operation Report Vouchers do have one other special use. Commanders can exchange vouchers to receive their salary. However, the vouchers are not commander-specific. Any commander can use any voucher. Yes, they can be used to transfer funds to other commanders who are having a hard time. Do you find this all strange? There is no other way. Commanders must be the heroes of the Ark. The central government can't have their heroes begging on the streets. There is a saying among the commanders. A hero only begs from other heroes. The reality of the situation must not be exposed to the outside world. This way, the people will continue to idolize their heroes. They'll even dream of becoming one themselves. Alright, let's head to the shop. This is the list of what we need to purchase. Anise Neonidae should be able to live off that for two months. You can purchase anything else you'd like as well. This is all we need to maintain our proper mental health. There is no point in purchasing anything outside of that. But if you wish to make additional purchases, I will not stop you. Commander? Excuse me? Uh, very well. However, I won't be able to be of much assistance in that regard. I don't know where the gift store is. Yes. Is this the store? Let's go in. Welcome. What can I help you with? A gift. Mm. For whom? Because we don't sell gifts, Menfrenikas. A while back, all the local merchants came to an agreement. We won't sell any gifts intended to be given to Nikas. Because of people like you. Developing an affection for Nikas. Giving them gifts, going on dates, and treating Nikas as if they were humans. That's why the Ark has become the way it is. Uh. If you treat those things like a human, they're liable to start believing they are human. Next thing you know, they're demanding personal rights, committing crimes, Launching terrorist attacks. Easy, Tiger. I don't want any trouble. Anyway, I'm not selling, so go somewhere else. Though, you'll probably have to walk pretty far. Commander, let's leave. Commander. I'm fine, really. Let's just leave. <sighs> just our luck. Running into a shop owner who's a Nikkei-phobe. Not always. <sighs> but 
often enough. Because Nikkei's are weapons. We are not human. However, we still have a sense of self. That rubs a lot of people the wrong way. Hmm. Life. Life only has value when it belongs to the living. We are not living beings. Therefore, we have no lives to risk. Even if we did, it would not have the same value as a human. So, don't worry about it too much. Excuse me? It doesn't matter how I feel. I am only speaking the truth. Uh. As for the gift, it's the thought that counts. So, please, let's just get what we need and head back. Huh? How about some food then? Food certainly doesn't discriminate between humans and Nikkeis. Commander? Weren't we on our way to buy food? This is a restaurant. You can purchase food here, but... It won't stay good for very long. Hmm... Yes, I'm hungry as well. Okay. Yes, the chef seems quite talented. It was lovely. Hmm. I don't really have a favorite food. I eat pretty much anything. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make things awkward. I just wanted to illustrate how strong my mental fortitude is in that regard. Yes. Theoretically, Nikkeis do not need to consume food. We are powered by the core within our bodies. The core is capable of generating its own power, and as long as there is no major damage, it can be used without any active input on our part. We do not need to consume food for energy. As I mentioned earlier, it all has to do with the mind. With the exception of the brain, Nikkeis are composed entirely of artificial materials. We are not human. But, in terms of our appearance, we are a perfect copy of a human being down to our internal structure. Because of that, most Nikkeis use their bodies just as humans do. There are pros and cons to this. It allows us to blend in and interact with the rest of society. However, some may experience a mental breakdown when they become aware they are not human. We look identical to humans and act just like them. So when we are told we are in fact not human, it can cause a kind of panic to arise within us. No, cursing or physical violence only results in slight emotional agitation, unpleasant thoughts, feelings of anger, things of that nature. It only becomes serious upon negation of our primary mechanisms. Food is a prime example. The moment you realize that you don't have to eat anymore, you instantly become acutely aware that you are different from humans. This results in a sort of cognitive dissonance. Your mental state is negatively impacted. The degree of this impact differs from Nikkei to Nikkei. 
there are some who need to eat three meals a day in order to feel a sense of stability. Then there are others like me, who are able to get by eating once every few days. It's the same with sleep and hygiene. We don't feel tired if we don't sleep, and we do not smell, even if we do not wash. However, if we don't sleep and wash, then we become aware, aware that we are different from humans. This extends to more than just our daily habits. In the early days, the liquid catalysts in our bodies were green. However, whenever we were injured, the sight of green blood spilling from our wounds would result in cognitive dissonance. In later models, they switched to red. Eyeballs with ultra-precise cameras implanted, missiles embedded in the abdomen, and booster-mounted legs. Yes, they were superior in terms of performance, but they were all discarded due to the users being unable to process them mentally. This is the reason why most Nikkeis use handheld firearms, along with other assistive equipment. Mm. A mind switch. Yes. Simply put, the personality changes. I don't know the details. Once the brain determines it can no longer cope with the cognitive dissonance, it undergoes a radical change. On rare occasions, the new personality that emerges is perfectly fine. Most of the time, however, they go insane. Nikkeis that experience a mind switch are referred to as irregulars. As most irregulars have destructive tendencies and are usually terminated. I don't know if fix is the proper term to describe it. But the process can be reverted through a reboot. It's exactly what it sounds like. You wipe the Nikkei's memory clean. You revert the mind to the way it was before, or even as far back as when they were first manufactured. However, the success rate is low. When one becomes an irregular, their brain is physically broken. I've heard there is a brainwashing technique that makes the brain a total blank slate. But I've never heard of any cases where it was actually used. <sighs> because of all this. The central government places a high importance on maintaining Nikkei's mental health. A Nikkei can become a massive liability if they become an irregular. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I've gone on for far too long. Should we get going? Commander. I think you may have gone overboard with the shopping. Next time, I recommend that you only purchase what you need. these. Let's go. Okay. Let's carry it together. Now that's what I call a meal. So good! After all, food bought with other people's money is the most delicious. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Mm. Well then. So, what do we need to do now? You've treated us so well. There must be something you want. What should we do? Huh? 
scrappy. Huh? So, did you do it? Yep. And they're acting like this? Yep. So they really are different from the rest. Hmm. Huh? What are you two talking about? Oh, this and that. Aim! You don't mean that, do you? How can this be? Commander, can I speak with you for a moment? What did you think about today? That conversation I had with you was very much intentional on my part. I wanted you to know just how different Nikkei's are from what they're made out to be. Yes, I wanted to tell you the truth, all of it. The mortality rate amongst commanders may be high, but much of that is because they simply throw their lives away. They're blinded by the idea that they're the heroes who will save humanity. The same goes for Nikkei's. They feel like they're untouchable, an immortal army fighting on behalf of all mankind. None of them consider the inherent danger of it all. So, I merely wanted to remind you of this. I've seen too many commanders allow their vanity and their delusions to lead them to their own death. I don't want the same thing to happen to you. You're different. I don't know what it is, but you are different. That's why I hope you will stay alive. I don't know. Some part of me does feel that way, but then I also want you to stay here with us. That is why I am telling you the truth. Very well. I will protect you. What? Uh, I hope you won't change. I don't want you to change. I believe you should remain on your current path. If you continue down this path, it will lead you to what you want. I am curious. Curious where your footsteps will lead you. What changes you will bring forth in this world. And amongst all that change, so long as you remain true to yourself, so long as you continue viewing the world and people in it the way you do now. Then I, we, will remain by your side until the very end. Thank you. Let's take care of each other. Commander.